take a look at triangle proofs. So that's the last tab, so you don't need to cut anything out. You want to pause the video and copy each example down. Alright, so the question says, IJ is parallel to GH, complete the proof. So how do I represent parallel lines? By putting an arrow. So IJ is parallel to GH. So looking at the statements, why is GH equal to IJ? Because there's one tick on each one, so that's already given in the problem. There's one tick. Why is IJ parallel to GH? Because the question told us that, so that is a given statement. And then where is angle GIJ? G I J, so that angle right there, we're going to put an arc congruent to angle H G I because you can see the Z, right? What's that? Alternate interior angles. So that's the reason alternate interior angles theorem. Listen in check, Colleen, alternate interior angles theorem. Then why is G I equals to G I? Why is something equal to itself? It's reflexive. When you look in your mirror, you don't change your you. So that line is equal to itself. You're going to put two ticks because I already used one. So that's a reflexive property of congruence. And then finally, why is a triangle equal to a triangle? So I'm going to separate these two triangles and transfer the information. So I'm going to draw two separate triangles. And then starting from the one tick, I'm going to read it to the arc and then to the two ticks. And I'm going to do the same thing in the other triangle. It goes one arc. Sorry, it goes one tick, one arc, two ticks. So what's that? Side, angle, side, angle, side. So the two triangles are congruent because of side, angle, side. And it's not donkey forwards, donkey backwards, or triple or battery, so I'm okay. All right, so we're going to complete this proof. Why is angle Y equal to angle Z? Because they, they already have it in the problem. Why is YZ equal to itself? Again, the same thing equals the same thing is reflexive property. I'm going to put a tick there. This is a listening check, underline given. I don't need to draw another triangle because this one is obvious. So starting from Z, I am going to go angle, side, angle. And that's not donkey forwards, donkey backwards, or triple A battery, so I'm good. All right, so we're gonna write down a few steps of what we're doing. Number one, you're gonna draw a picture if needed. Okay, you cannot do this without drawing a picture. Number two, you're gonna fill in ticks and arcs. So as they give them to you, you're gonna fill them in. Number three, you're gonna draw two separate triangles. So after the original, you're going to draw two more, like I did in example one. And then number four, you're going to follow the steps for congruence in triangles. On reading congruence. So we did that a couple of videos ago. All right, so let's look at another example. I'm going to do the whole thing this way. Why is that equal to that? Because they both have one tick already, so that's given in the problem. Why is that congruent to that? Because they have two ticks, so those are given. Right. Why is angle UYX congruent to angle VYW? Those are vertical angles. So folding Vs, vertical angles postulate. Now why are the two triangles equal? Well, now we have to separate them, right? So this will be step three. We have to draw two separate um, triangles because we already filled in the arcs. So go ahead and draw them and fill in the information they give you. One tick, an arc, two ticks, one tick, arc, two ticks. And let's just read it from that. One arc, I mean one um, tick, an arc, and two ticks. Same in the other triangle, so they're congruent because of side, angle, side. That's not donkey forwards, donkey backwards, or triple A battery, so I'm good. Now, anytime they ask you why is something congruent to something else after they tell you that angles are congruent, so after you prove that two triangles are the same, so in step four, proving that the two triangles are the same, and they ask you why one side or angle is equal to another, it is because, the listening check underlined because, corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Meaning if you have two triangles that are exactly the same, each angle is going to match up with each angle. Each side is going to match up with each um, side. And it's called CPCTC. So after you've proven that the two triangles are congruent, anything else after that, they ask you why is an angle equal to that or side, it's CPCTC. The only way to get good at this is to practice. That's